Right guys, we have more details on the modems going into the iPhone 14s and also the iPhone 15s. And so let's delve into it, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so the information's coming from the not so credible Digitimes, and so do take this with a grain of salt. Anyways, Digitimes for the most part tells us tidbits we already know about through of course Qualcomm and their recent investor day. So beginning with the iPhone 14 series, Digitime says we should see Qualcomm modems in these phones and they should be the X65 modem. Now this again, like I said, is not groundbreaking information because Qualcomm has already told us this, but also of course Apple does have a three year contract with them to use their modems and the iPhone 14 would be the third year of that contract. And so yeah, this does make sense. I think the more interesting tidbit is regarding the 2023 iPhones and of course the in-house modems they could be using. So of course Qualcomm recently mentioned that 20% of iPhones would be using their modems in 2023 and of course that's most likely accounting the older iPhones that Apple's gonna continue selling in 2023, but the new iPhones, the iPhone 15s, they should be using Apple modems. And well, that's exactly what Digitime says in this new report. However, they do give us a few interesting tidbits about these in-house modems, and that begins with the fact this modem is gonna be a separate chip from the actual SoC within the phone. Now this is kind of surprising because many Android manufacturers include chips that have built-in modems and integrate the cellular processor and also the application processor directly into the SoC. And I'm assuming there are certain benefits to having the modem built in with the chip. For example, it could be more efficient, much like we see with the M1 chip, and the fact everything is built in within the SoC. And of course, the space they save could be used for other components, like maybe a bigger battery. But I can think of one main reason why this could be the case. And that's regarding the Mac, because obviously the Max chip is going to be heavily based on the A17 in 2023. Now, yes, I know that Apple could, of course, use its chance to give us MacBooks with 5G connectivity, but I do think that maybe Apple's testing waters with these modems, and so they want to give it to the iPhone and maybe the iPad first, and then, of course, if things are good and there are no issues with the modems, we could see them on the Macs. In fact, I'm going to be honest guys, the fact Apple bought Intel's modem business in 2019 and could be ready with their own modems by 2023 seems a little optimistic. And so to be honest, I would not be surprised if these modems do get pushed back. But if Apple does want to push ahead with these modems, then I would not be surprised if we saw them on the iPad first, since of course 5G iPads aren't as popular and of course important as a 5G iPhone for their customers. But hey, hopefully I'm wrong and Apple does deliver with these modems and to be fair, considering their Apple Silicon chips are leagues above the competition, I would not be surprised if these modems are much better than the competition within the next few years. And yeah, it's crucial for Apple to get their modems right. Obviously, a ton of users want their cellular connection to be reliable, and so the modem within the device has to be excellent. In fact, that's why Apple switched from Intel to Qualcomm modems, since of course the Intel modems, much like their chips, completely sucked, and Qualcomm's offerings were a lot better. And so yes, again, fingers crossed, Apple can do some magic with the Intel modem business they bought. And yeah, maybe 5G will be a much better experience with these Apple modems, since of course one main issue with 5G right now is battery life, millimeter wave 5G is a battery drain, and so maybe Apple's own modems working with their own hardware and software could fix this and make 5G more usable on these iPhones. Obviously, of course, Apple's best buds, TSMC is gonna be producing this, and apparently they are preparing to supply these chips, so clearly, like Digitime says, they could be launching very soon. But tell me your thoughts on Apple's switch to their own modems in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding the iPod Touch 8. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.